Hello guys, good morning, welcome to a new day. Um, nothing too exciting happening today. Um, I just dropped Landon off at school and I'm actually gonna drop Ash off at my mom's house. I'll probably hang out there for like an hour, um, but I'm actually getting a root canal redone. If you guys don't remember, a few vlogs ago, I talked about how I went to the dentist for a cleaning and they told me I had an abscess on one of my um, old root canals and that I needed to get it done ASAP because it's like could be deadly or whatever or it could be like life threatening. Um, especially like if the infection gets like your blood and whatever. So I finally got an appointment with my endodontic specialist um, like two weeks ago. <laughs> two or three weeks ago, um, and he was like, yeah, you definitely have an infection in that tooth um, and we need to get it done ASAP. He's a little concerned about the, the procedure to begin with because I have a post in my tooth. Um, he was like, we absolutely cannot save the crown because we do have to put a bigger hole on the top um, to get in there and clean it out thoroughly. He's like, so we can't save the root, uh, save the crown, which I was like, that's fine. Cause typically with a crown, like if you take a crown off and you retreat it, you can reuse the same crown. So it saves you money. Uh, but my crown that I have anyways, is half like metal and half porcelain. Um, because it's just what I could afford back then. Um, and I hate it because I have a silver tooth. Um, but it's my back molar, so it doesn't bother me too much, but it does bother me. So I was like, that's fine, I'll totally pay for a new crown. Like, I want a new porcelain crown anyways. Bless you, Bubba. Um, so, um, the thing is he's nervous about is he was like, I don't know until I get into your tooth if I can save it because of the fact that you have a post in your tooth. He's like, I'm not really sure why they put a post in your tooth. Like, they put, like, a screw type thing in my tooth. He's like, I'm not really sure why they put that in your tooth. Um, he's like, I'm not going to put another one in there because I don't, like, deem it necessary. Um, he was like, but... You definitely need um, it redone and we'll get in there and I guess what he's nervous about is he said when we pull out the post it could possibly damage the tooth or crack it or something like that that makes it not saveable um, obviously with cleaning the tooth anything can crack while they're fixing it too so he was like I'm pretty sure we can fix it and it should be all fine but there's obviously always precautions and like you know things that could happen and I'm like okay you're just I'm really hoping that they can save my tooth because I don't want to like lose a molar like that's a back molar like a back bottom molar like I don't want to lose that um so we're getting a root canal retreat done today and I'm getting that done at 1120 and I'm like scared I'm so scared uh, I'm going to go to my mom's house right now and have her make me a coffee and maybe possibly something to eat because I'm starving and I need like another coffee. I only drank half my coffee this morning. Um, Lana had hat day at school today, so he's wearing hat and he's so funny. He wants to wear his hat backwards. Um, so stinking cute. Um, and ooh, what is that? Ooh, I saw something about not like some donuts. I want donuts. Um, but yeah, we're going to my mom's now <clears throat> until I go to the Dollar Tree later, which I'm um, what? Sorry. I just looked at the Dollar Tree and then I was like, ooh, Dollar Tree. Um, so until I go to the dentist later and then I don't really know what else we're doing today. Guys, so I just got my root canal done from talking weird. That's why. It ended up taking two hours to do the procedure. Can't even lick my mouth. Um, so um, when they were doing it, they went to go take the post out. So I have a post put in my tooth. I don't really know why. They're not really sure why either, but I got a post in my tooth and they were trying to take it out and they were struggling so hard to take this damn post out of my mouth. It took them almost an hour to take this out of my mouth and he was just like, I don't understand. Like, and it comes right as like a threaded type of like post or something like that. So he had a hard time taking out my post and hold on, my mom's calling me, took out, he finally got my post out. I had an infection in my tooth um, that he was like, do you, have you taken any antibiotics for this? So I was like, no. And he was like, well, you should be taking antibiotics for this. It's like pretty bad infection. And I was like, oh, okay. And so he was like, let's get you uh, some antibiotics. And so he prescribed me antibiotics. I have to go pick them up and take them. And then I guess there's three canals in your tooth. And only two of them are filled with my last root canal. So he was able to find my third one and fill it, which is great. Um, he goes, that's probably the reason why you end up getting the infection um, to begin with. So 
that's fun. Um, it took almost two hours. So it's like 120 now. I have to pick up Landon at 140. Um, and his school's right up the street. So I'm going to stop at the Dollar Tree quick, see what they have. And then pick up Landon and go back to my mom's house. I'm in pain, so I need to get ibuprofen as soon as possible. But let's go to the Dollar Tree. Let's get Landon. And let's get going home because I'm in pain. We just got home. Um, I just, like, put everything away. Um, and just started the dishwasher and stuff. The boys are actually playing with those Easter eggs that I got them. Um, they're playing with that and like their baskets are actually from last year. I'm actually gonna reuse those baskets this year. So my mouth is like really hurting. So I just took some ibuprofen. Um, the like numbness is starting to wear off. Like I can feel like that tingling sensation and it's wearing off and so I can feel the pain. But since Karen's going to the gym after work, I asked him if he could pick up my prescription since it's, like, kind of in the same plaza. Um, so he's just going to pick up my amoxicillin. Um, and I'm just going to kind of hang out. I actually just took a stick of butter out because I want to make the magnolia cookies. I'm, like, craving something sweet so bad. I'm going to make that in a little bit. But I think for right now it's, what, almost 3.30. I think I'm just going to, like, relax for a little bit. I just, my mouth hurts. <laughs> like, I feel like all that my back jaw area like it just feels so sore and like tender and the numbness is starting to wear off so I couldn't only imagine what it's actually gonna feel like when it wears off so I'm just gonna kind of relax a little bit um until Cam comes home and then dare you. Who says that best? Kim Watts. Kim Watts says that best. But in reality, so true. I will say the Magnolia Cookbook chocolate chip cookies, Joanna Gaines does it best. These cookies are so good. Um, my whole family loves them. Every time I cook them, they're literally gone in like one day, maybe sometimes two days. This is like the best chocolate chip cookie dough. So good. So we're gonna roll these up. We're gonna throw them in the oven quickly. I can't wait to eat them. So make some cookies. Ten minute timer. Alexa, turn off timer. Yum. They're perfect. I'm gonna take those out. Let them cool off. I have to come back and show you like these cookies. They're still cooling, but. Mmm. They're so good. The best cookies. I can't open my jaw like that. <laughs> We're going to let them cool off a little bit. We're going to eat some uh, dinner. And then we'll have these for dessert. I think I'm just going to hang out for the rest of the night because my mouth really hurts. So I'll just roll this over into tomorrow. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, guys. Good morning. Welcome to a new day. I just got ready. And I'm actually going to my doctor's appointment right now. And I'm feeling so anxious right now. Like, my chest, like, hurts. I'm, like, ooh. trying really hard to, like, breathe. 
like my chest hurts. Uh, we are going to the doctor's. I got it at my GPS. The appointment is, it should be there like 10 minutes early. So my doctor's is kind of far away because I have TRICARE. I have to see a military doctor. And to be honest, I don't know. I really want to like start seeing a civilian doctor, but, but like, TRICARE is weird. But my mouth really hurts. In case you're curious, um, it hurts so bad, like worse than I thought it was going to feel like this feels really tight and just kind of painful. Um, I can feel like the injection spots of where he put like the Novocaine and like that hurts on my mouth. Um, my tooth, the back area just kind of like this feels really sore. Last night I was like sleeping, I guess on my face and I woke up at one point I was like, oh my God, my face hurts. Um, so I feel like my face looks a little swollen too. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like over here it just looks a little swollen. We're going to my doctor's right now. Cameron's actually at home with the boys. Um, he didn't have to go to work today because he actually starts a new job on... He's supposed to start today, but he's going to start on Monday because there's no point of him coming in for one day because it's Friday. So he is home today, which is actually really nice. We'll see what we do later. I don't know. I'm stressed out. I'm call for my actual dentist today. And she called me, she's like, oh, we just got your paperwork from the endodontic specialist. Uh, you went to see yesterday, like, how's your root canal feeling, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, do you have a crown on that tooth? And I was like, yeah, I do. Um, and she's like, how old's the crown? And I told her it was like 10 years old. I told her, I was like, oh, I already made my appointment. Um, knowing like to piggyback off this, this appointment, like the, my root canal appointment. And I was like, so I should have an appointment on the 11th. She's like, oh yeah, I see that, sorry. Um, and then I was like, yeah, by any chance, can you tell me how much it's going to cost me for my crown? I have a crown and like a little filling that I need to get done. And she's like, oh yeah, no problem. And she's like plugging all the stuff and she's like, oh, it's going to be like four, like 30 or something, like 430. And I was like, $430 for a crown? And she's like, yeah, like, um, insurances have like a policy of like how long your crown is to be on for and blah blah blah, blah whatever and I think it's like gonna cost me more because I have to take out my crown that's on there now and then put a new crown on and like that's so expensive like that's so expensive and I'm like I, I feel like and she said that she's sending like they fit, they pay 50% so my insurance pays the other 50% so she's like oh yeah we're sending your insurance at 412 or whatever and I was like, that's so expensive. Like, I don't ever remember paying $400 for a crown. Like, I had multiple root canals done, and I've never paid $400 out of pocket for a crown. So, that's crazy to me. I know they're pretty expensive, but I don't know if, like, maybe TRICARE changed, like, the crown policy. I don't know, but I feel like that's really expensive. So... I don't know. I guess I got to pay that next week. And that's like, this one tooth is going to cost me $1,000. Like, I've put almost $10,000. Actually, no. I've literally put over $10,000 of work in my teeth. Total work that I've had done um, between this root canal, like, years ago. Uh, these ones that I got done recently. The one I'm getting done again on the same tooth. I've literally put over $10,000 of work into my teeth. And they're still shitty. So that's fun. That's cool. And I know a lot of people can relate because I know when I talk about it on my Instagram, so many of you guys are like, I'm in the same boat. And I feel like you're either on, you're on one side of the spectrum. You're either, your teeth are great, no cavities, you have great teeth, whatever. Or you're like me who have like the worst teeth, cavities, root canals, all that jazz. And it's like so annoying. So annoying. Like I'm so irritated at this, but... I mean, it is what it is. Gotta pay it, right? Yeah, we're gonna go to our, our doctor's appointment. I'll keep you guys updated because I'm feeling really overwhelmed with going there. I have a list of everything I want to talk to her about because I literally feel like I'm falling apart. Um, yeah. Let's see how this appointment goes. I'm really nervous because of my lump, and that's like one thing. Like that's my biggest concern is my lump. Everything else, I feel like it is what it is. Like it's probably just in my head, but my lump is not in my head and. You know, sometimes I feel like I'm my body like thinks worst case scenario all the time or, you know, my anxiety and depression kind of get the best of me. And I feel like a lot of things kind of piggyback off my depression and anxiety. This is something that no one talks about when you become a mom is how you feel lost in your own body. 
and I feel like it's really important to remember you got to take care of yourself. You cannot take care of your children if you don't take care of yourself. And I think that's the biggest problem a lot of like moms have. And it's I've been a mom for going to be four years now. And I'm finally only now starting to get the help that I need to get. So, yeah. Okay. So I'm back. I'm a little aggravated. Um, I just tried picking up a script and I waited 30 minutes, get checked in. They're like, it's going to be 45 minutes and then we're taking lunch. So come back at one. Like I live 45 minutes away. Like I'm not, I'm not waiting around. I'm so aggravated. That appointment did not go as I expected it to. Um, so I have what she thinks is a cyst in my breast. Um, I have to wait for ultrasound or for radiology to call me for me to go to radiology and, um, have my breast like get an ultrasound, um, uh, to make sure it is a cyst and not like, um, like a tumor or something along those lines. Um, she's pretty confident that it is a cyst, uh, but we don't know until I do the ultrasound. And depending on how the ultrasound comes back, if it is uh, not like a cyst and something else, I will have to go through those steps then. But I'm praying to God that it is just a cyst, which can be caused by like anything. Um, I'm hoping that it is just a cyst that maybe I just like tore something in my muscle like with working out or something. Since I am working out now, I think maybe that's most, uh, most, uh, what's it called? Uh, maybe that's like the reasoning. Um, and that's kind of hopeful for what that is. Um, I did talk to my doctor about my anxiety and my depression and everything. And I took the initiative to go back on medication. And that is a medication that I'm trying to take. I am going back on Zoloft try to think of the, I was gonna say Zofran, uh, nope, not Zofran, not that, um, Zoloft, and started taking my life back, okay, um, you know, I used to be on, I want to say I was on, not Zoloft, but, Pro, I forget, floor, I forget what it is, I, I'm pretty sure I began with an F, um, and I stopped taking it about five years ago, um, right when I got married, and I will say my depression has been the absolute worst the last five years since I got off of it, um, I hated the way my body felt when I was on the medication. Um, but I think the most important thing, like my doctor did say today, in order to see the results, you need to stick it out. Like you need to keep taking it every day. Um, and it can take a couple of weeks, like up to six to eight weeks for it to really like fully work for you. And I think that's my problem is that I used to like not take it. I used to skip out on a lot of my like uh, dosages and stuff. And I think that's the reason I just like kind of just gave up on it. and. I think, hold on, someone's walking yeah. time. So I am going back on it for my depression and my anxiety. I've talked about it before, but I do have PMDD, like a premenstrual, oh my God, a premenstrual something disorder. I always forget what the other D is. Uh, and I've had that for a couple of years now and it strongly affects my moods. Um, I can be really great one minute and then I'm like crashing down the next minute. And, you know, we talked to my doctor. I was like, you know, like, I know this is affecting me as a person. It's affecting me as a mother. And I don't want my kids to see me breaking down. I don't want them to see me lash out for nothing. And that's the one thing that I'm really noticing that I'm starting to get, like, really overstimulated with everything that they do. And I try to, like, breathe. I'm like, Ruthie, they're just kids. And I really need to, like, talk myself through that all the time because if it wasn't for me talking to myself I would just like freak out every time they do anything and I don't want them I don't want to be that mom that yells at them and I really I mean there's a time and a place for everything right there's a time and a place to parent them and I think if a kid's being a kid you don't need to yell at them for being a kid and I'm really hoping that it helps me in there I am hoping it helps me with my marriage because my mood swings are really really bad um, I'm hoping it just helps me as a person because I feel really unmotivated a lot of days to not do anything because I just feel so sad and depressed all the time and you know I have a beautiful life and I need to learn to enjoy it so I'm hoping that it 
helps me. I know it can it, it can cause some weight gain. I know it can cause um, low libido, 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 like low sex drive. I know it can cause um, fatigue and everything, but we'll see. Hopefully it works. Hello guys, it's been a minute. We actually went to the gym and then we, what else did we do? We went to the gym and I picked up my prescription at the pharmacy and I took my first dose of a new antidepressant, which I'm really, really excited about. I'm really hoping for a better, clear future. Does that make sense? I'm excited to see what the future can hold with taking this and everything. We actually ended up picking up pizza for dinner. Um, we actually haven't had takeout in a hot minute. So we got some takeout. We ordered some pizza and now the kids are having some tablet time because they haven't had any tablet time in a couple days. So they're having some tablet time, but I want to show you guys what I got at Ross and TJ Maxx. So I got only this at TJ Maxx. Well, actually my mom bought it for me. Um, I ended up like losing her in the store <laughs> and she ended up paying for it and then it was like leaving and she never forward on her. So she got this for Landon to wear to school. Um, he has school on St. Patrick's Day. So it's actually a St. Patrick's Day like shirt. Super cute. It's $9.99. I think it's so cute. It's from Denim and Flower. Size 4. So adorable. Um, I think it's so cute. So he's going to wear this for St. Patrick's Day. Um, I ended up getting this for Landon to wear for picture day. Um, it was actually only $10.99. It looks like this. So I thought it was super cute. And the pants were like really pretty. Had like the little knee thing. Um, super cute. Size 4. 4T. So from Micmac. That'll be really cute. I don't know what kind of shoes he's going to wear yet. I may have him just wear his Timberland boots because... I don't really know. I don't want them to wear black shoes. I was going to actually get a pair of shoes that were like similar color to this. And they were polo, I think it was. But I was like, it just like was like too matchy. I wanted to like, if I, I wish I had a pair of like white, like slip on like van type things. Ugh, I wanted to wear those, but I don't think, I don't think he would uh, enjoy it. So I don't know. I have him just wear his Tims. Um, I found this for him. The for my oldest. It was $5.99 in size 4T and it's Street Rules Clothing Company and it's a pair of shorts and it just looks like this. Um, he really, he's so tall. He's starting to like outgrow 4T. But 4T still fits his waist really well. It's just starting to get short on him like when he wears pants. But I think 4T will be fine for summertime. Um, Cause I don't like when pants, shorts are like super long on like little kids. I think they look so funny. Um, I love when like shorts are like above the knee or right at the knee. So I think these will be really cute. And they're only like $5.99. So can't go wrong with that. And then I picked up this garland. And it was, how much is this? $11.99. I don't really have much Easter stuff. I wish I could show you guys my mom's house. My mom has so much Easter stuff. Like so much Easter stuff. Um, and her house looks so cute. Maybe next time I go over her house, I'll show you guys. Her house is adorable. But... Um, she convinced me to get this. How cute is this? I love it so much. The carrots and the bunnies. Um, the carrots are like tan and white. And then the bunnies are white. And I just think they're so cute. What am I going to do with this? I don't know yet. But I thought it was just too cute. So I had to get it. <laughs> and then, um, I also got... My mom also ended up buying me this wicker like basket thing um i'll show you guys in like, another vlog it's super cute i don't know how i'm gonna style it yet um but it matches like perfectly to like the wicker basket i have in there i just like need to get like some decor pieces but it's just so hard because like my kids touch everything um but i think it was really cute so i think mean, this is so cute i didn't get my youngest like any clothes today but he has so many but this is so cute No. You saw me come in here with my bag. No. You look like a dweeb with your hat. Can I help you? I'm in the shower. You okay? Can you get me my basket that's on the table so I can show them? I 
anyone else's husband's awkward as hell. It's a frisbee. Don't, don't. Cameron! My mom got me this basket from Ross. It was, I was right, $12.99. Come on, you're gonna stretch out my clothes. This should be hidden. No pockets? There's pockets. You just have it inside out, you dweeb. <laughs> That's what it looks like. That's what we got. Put this one out of the shower. Where am I gonna put this cam? In a Costco bin. No, I think it'll be cute. And it's like neutral colors. Come on, Landon's always telling me every time I go to my mom's house that there's no Easter stuff. He goes, I need to buy Easter. You're not supposed to decorate. It's fun to decorate for Easter. It says it in the button. Don't talk like that. Huh? Don't talk like that. Not like that. that is what I got today. I was just thinking, like, this would look so cute, Cam. Yeah. If there was, like, white pair Converse's or, like, Vans, but he wouldn't wear Vans. I was thinking that, too. I just kind of wanted, like, something more, like, springy. Like, not, like, I feel like Tim's kind of, like, fall, winter. Yeah. But I may have no choice but to put him in Tim's. We'll see, though. I don't want to check out Target. I found these for him today, too. Those are nice. Aren't they? Like, they'll be nice for, like, school, too. These are only four, uh, $5.99. Aren't those cute? That's what I got in the store. We got a shower. It's Friday night. We ain't doing nothing. Cameron is posing because he thinks he's ripped and he's not because he eats a bag of popcorn and five million cookies when I'm gone. Yeah. Call it a night. I'll see you guys. Probably film tomorrow because tomorrow's my mom's birthday. Or wait, no. My mom's birthday's on Sunday. We're gonna celebrate her birthday tomorrow. So I'll probably film tomorrow. Right? Cam? What? Film tomorrow? Film tomorrow. My mom's birthday? Cameron's birthday's next week. He is getting old. 29. It's so crazy that you, my mom, and Landon all have like a March birthday. How's that crazy? Oh, it's crazy. No, it's crazy. Being married to you. You and Asher have the same birthday. Me and Asher are having the exact same birthday. It is crazy. It's true. Um. Uh, maybe. <sighs> it all hurt. But yeah, I don't know. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.